What's going on guys, this is your host Daisy here and AMD's event at the Computex this year just finished and it finished with some great news. Talking about that great news, we know that RX already had some leaks and those leaks were finally just confirmed by AMD that those leaks were true. And some of the good news, some of the more good news that were there, I'm gonna be talking about that in this video. So yeah guys, first of all the price of the graphics card that's been launched is going to be $199. At a price point of $199, we're gonna be getting the performance of a GDX 980 and in between a GDX 970 graphics card. And that's pretty awesome for the people who are waiting to be actually getting a new graphics card. And with this move, actually AMD is trying to get the market share back from Nvidia and we are going to be seeing what Nvidia does after that because Nvidia's GTX 1060 is not going to be coming out soon. So more things that AMD confirmed were that it's going to be having stream processor of 2304 and the clock frequency of the GPU was also confirmed it's going to be at 1266 MHz which gives us around about performance of 5.8 teraflops. I don't know that 1266 and 5.8 teraflops of performance uh, I don't know that who else is going to be able to give this performance at such a price point and the GPU is going to be launching in two VRAM types one is going to be at 4 gigabytes and the other is going to be 8 gigabytes I think the 199 one is 4 gigabytes model and the 8 gigabytes is going to be 225 or 250 dollars that's not yet confirmed so yeah guys this is the news and some of the other things that confirm that are confirmed by AMD is 150 sub 150 watt power draw and June 29th launch and 4 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes model and 256 bit memory bus 40 nanometer that we all know Polaris 10 so yeah guys these were the leaks that were actually confirmed at Computex this year and this GPU current to me is going to be revolutionizing our gaming as of now because we have been held back many years by these, de by these developers and we are not getting the performance that we pay for. So I think actually this GPU at $199 if, even if you get a 4GB model is going to be running games at 1080p ultra maxed out amazingly. So this is the GPU to get at this price point according to me. If Nvidia launches something like 1060 at this price point and it is better than this graphics card, I would have I would be pretty happy to buy that. And some other things guys, the FinFed 40 nanometer architecture delivers about 1.7 times the performance per watt comparable to the previous generations that AMD was giving the GCN 3.0 graphics cards. But with AMD's GCN 4.0 upgrade, we got a performance increase of about 2.8 times. That's why we're seeing a performance jump this higher with this with this graphics card. It's just having 2304 stream processors and it's at 1266 megahertz core clock. Then how are we getting the performance of 5.8 teraflops? That's because AMD jumped its game with GCN 4.0 and it's much efficient and its performance per watt is so much good that no card is able to compete with it as of now. So yeah guys these were the leaks and the information that came out at Computex and I hope you guys like this video if you do just leave a thumbs up for me it will help the channel grow and I love you guys all leave a comment in the comment section what do you think about this graphics card what do you think about AMD what do you think that Nvidia will be doing to give an answer to AMD with their graphics cards so i'm going to be going out now stay awesome peace